first of all, when I heard from uh, our representative that it was a wake-up call, what Russia did one year ago, I was really surprised that are we really born yesterday? I think the war started already nine years ago, 2014. And it isn't a surprise that Russia has ambitions to go back to the history in the Soviet Union times. And they very clearly stated that in December 2021, when they asked impossible things, that there will be no new NATO member states, that there will be like some kind of puppet countries next to the Russian border, like Ukraine, Finland, Sweden, that they are not allowed to join with the NATO. And also they asked that if you don't do like this we, as we are asking, and they asked that all the NATO troops have to leave from the NATO member states, like Poland, Estonia, Latvia, in this case we will attack you. I think it wasn't a surprise. It was clearly visible for the last 30 years. When the socialist, socialist colleagues were attacking EPP colleagues here, I should remind you that unfortunately, unfortunately your friend in the German government and Mr. Scholz is blocking more military aid. They're waiting his signature to send tanks. And now one year later, they're like, oh, we have to check in which condition we have for tanks. One year later, and now they're checking for the condition for the tanks. Really surprising. 2014, when the war started already, it wasn't a problem for the Germans to continue with Nord Stream 2. It wasn't a problem at all. No, let's go further. It's just an economic relation. There is no economics without politics. Same thing with Americans. Ukrainians asked the fighters already in March last year, and Americans were blocking that. Poland said, we will give our old Russian fighters to Ukraine, just please send us F-16 fighters. Americans were, no, no, we are too afraid, no, maybe we escalate the conflict. The fact is, weakness is provocation. Our weakness is provoking Russia to go further. Thank you. And that's historical facts. So don't be weak, don't be too pro-Russians. Act now and fight now and win this war. Thank you. I give the floor next.